Hey y'all, Med School Made Easy. I'm going to quickly cover PCR or polymerase chain reaction. As you probably know it, uh, this is something we take for granted, but it's really important to know uh, what it actually means if you're a biology student or if you're taking a board exam. Uh, what it is, it's a molecular biology lab technique that we use to amplify a target sequence of DNA. Now, what does that mean? Well, amplify means make tons of copies. So you're trying to make tons of copies of a certain DNA sequence that you want to look at. Um, you know, that DNA sequence would be like the exact nucleotide, you know, peptide chain uh, of like A, C, G, and T, or, you know, whatever. You're trying to actually find that exact sequence to work with it. So you need tons of copies, right? And the only way you do that, that we do currently, is PCR. Now, PCR, as you show up here on the board, has three needs and three steps. So that's easy to remember, right? You just need three and three. And these are the things that um, you might get asked on a test. These are kind of the more nitty gritty things. So the first, what are the three things that you need? Well, you need a target, right? You need, what are we trying to amplify? What are we trying to make tons of? A target. The other thing you're gonna need is pre-made primers. So think back to your replication steps and you'll know why we need primers and replication. And lastly, you need your just good old run of the mill DNA Paul, DNA polymerase. That's all that you need and a machine to do PCR. Anybody can do it, you know, at home. Um, <laughs> so the three steps that you need to do for PCR, this is, this is where <clears throat> if you're taking a medical board exam, this is the question they'll ask you is these three steps. The first one is going to be denaturation. And what does that mean? That means that we take our target DNA strand, you know, that double-stranded sequence of DNA, and we heat it up so that it separates, it denatures into just single-stranded pieces of RNA that we can now access and work with. If they're double-stranded, we can't really get to our target sequence. If they're denatured or separated, we can. The second thing, the fancy name for it is anneal. Anneal is kind of like heal. And what does that mean is, you know, now we have these accessible single-stranded pieces of DNA. We now anneal our pre-made primers onto the target sequence. You know, now we're accessing this accessible target. So we're actually locating and attaching to the piece of DNA that we need. And the third thing, we use our DNA polymerase. We add that to the mixture and we do what's called elongation or you add on, you know, extra pieces of extra nucleotides to fill in the gaps off your primers. It's basically the same process of replication. And if you do this, you know, you started with one piece of, or of double-stranded DNA, cut into two single-stranded pieces, and now you have two double-stranded pieces. I'll draw a little squiggly line here so that you can know that they're separated. It's not pretty, but you get what it means. And so if you did this process countless times, you know, if you start with just one target strand after the first revolution, you'd have two. And then after that, you'd have four. And after that, you have eight. You can imagine if we did this thousands of times, how many pieces of target strand DNA you'd have to work with. You just have clumps of it in there. Uh, that is DNA, <clears throat> excuse me, that is PCR. Uh, you need three things, three steps. Boards will ask you about these three steps, probably about their chronological order. Um, the other thing is that, you know, if you do have a mixture of DNA, because nothing's ever that pretty in science, the way that you can separate out, like, a smaller product from a bigger product, or to really to find out which products you have in there, you can just do a simple algorithm gel electrophoresis, you know, make those uh, DNA strands in there electrophoresis through the gel. The smaller strands move farther because they have less, you know, space hindrance um, through the gel, so. So how yield topic. All right, PCR, thank you. Out.